before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below your dream pet. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get rich and adopt me. Now I do have a pretty good inventory myself for playing about one year on this game. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys my favourite ways, my tips and tricks on how to get rich and have a good inventory. Do you keep in mind though that this does take about a few days or a few weeks and you won't just become rich overnight. It does take hard work so keep on watching to the end so I can show you guys how eventually you're going to have a very good inventory. My first and very useful tip is to make these type of houses. These are honestly my favourite type of houses because um, it's called a make money house. This is not the best example, however they are very good if you make it look nice. And basically you have a shower and food and everything like that and it is a pretty basic house but it is so convenient because your pet will have all its needs done right on the spot. This is more of a tip, just don't buy things from this Game Pass shop, it's such a rip off and I don't really recommend it. Um, I mean I actually have most of these but still I don't recommend it and I only recommend buying it like if you're buying red potions or fly potions because a lot of people give good offers for these. Whenever you're buying eggs and you come to this lovely pet shop make sure you buy the mythic eggs or the current eggs in the gumball machine. This is because whatever pet you get it's still going to be rare and it's still going to be pretty good and you'll get really good offers when it's out of the game. For example, I have all of these eggs like fossil eggs, um, golden eggs, ocean eggs and they're really cute and I get a lot of good offers for these as well um, which kind of makes my inventory a bit more richer because people overpay for these. If you have any rare items or it out of game items, make sure you keep hold of them and you can get so many good overpays for these. People overpay so much for pets, I mean pets and toys that are out of game. For example, this broomstick, it is so rare and people love it and I get offers like neon frosts for these. I used to, I'm not really sure now but I did. Um, so make sure to keep a hold of your rare items. My next tip is profit trading and as you can see I have got a bat dragon. Then I did that and some ads for a mega shadow dragon and this was quite a while ago where mega shadow dragons had a high value so honestly this was a win for me at that time. Um, shadows values have dropped now sadly. This next tip is literally my favourite tip in the world. Basically let's just say you have a mythic egg. And you get this out of it. It's not as bad as you think because they look so cool when they're neon and mega neon. So I'm gonna show you. This is so cute. It's the neon version and here's the mega neon version. These are very rare, especially when they leave the game. You just need four for a neon and 16 for a mega neon. And you just have to level them up. And then when you trade them, you're going to get some pretty good offers. So I really recommend doing this method. It's another way of farming. Here are some examples of some pets that I've actually made in the past that are really worth a lot. So we have this lion. And we also have this horse. It's so cute. I get offered so many things for this and the lion especially um just genuinely i've gotten offered a neon i've gotten offered a parrot for this and a neon parrot for my neon lion it's actually so crazy and here's this neon llama i've gotten offered a normal parrot for this just generally it's just so cute and i really recommend doing this farming method as you can see, so many people have a normal pig, but not a lot of people have a mega, I mean, a neon pig or a mega neon pig. So this way, this gains a lot of value when I'm trading this neon pig. You guys, this pet is uncommon. However, when it is mega neon, it is so cute and I get so many good offers. Like, it's it just left the game like a few months ago and it's still worth so much. Alright you guys, this is my final and favourite tip in the whole wide world. It is called the Common to Legendary Challenge. I have this sandwich and I'm going to trade it for something better than a sandwich. 
for example, a T-Rex. Now I trade this T-Rex for a... A Kirin, and I trade this for a... A Woolly Mammoth, and then I trade this Woolly Mammoth for a... A Rideable Rhino, then I trade this for a... Very, very cute, a Neon Fly Ride Rat, and then I trade this rat for a... A Neon Lynx, we got lucky today. Then we trade this for a... A Rideable Crow, it's so cute, I love it so much. Um, by the way, whatever I just showed you right now was actually did happen to me as well. I got pretty lucky and I'm just showing you an example right now. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and make sure you guys have a good day and comment down below your dream hat. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!